Hey, what's going on? I got a lot of gaming news for you guys today. Now, first up is Atlas. It looks like Atlas has went bankrupt, but it's not actually them. It's actually the company that's above them that's going bankrupt. They're looking to possibly sell out Atlas, so then that way they could get back where they need to be business-wise. And a lot of people are paying very close attention because they want to see who buys Atlas out. And if you don't know who they are, they're mainly known for making their Persona games, which have been a great successor. But a lot of people are just really wanting to see who buys them out because there's a lot of possibilities and there are a lot of companies out there that could actually help them out. You know, they could be great for competition-wise or make it in games more often, especially if they have more money and more freedom and have less limitations, or they could be taking a new direction. So people are really just speculating and really just paying close attention because they want to see what happens to Atlas. Now, it looks like Nintendo has finally made their own network. Now, some people will be like, well, they kind of had a network already. Well, they finally got an official network with real-time servers and everything up and running. But one of the things that a lot of people find a little bit funny is that it looks like even though they do got their network up and running and everything, Thing, it looks like we're seeing more games that are on the 3DS that have multiplayer than on the Wii U. And to a lot of people that just does not make sense. And it's not just specific games, it's some games that are kind of cross-platform, or at least on both systems. But a lot of people are upset seeing that there's more games on the portable 3DS that have multiplayer than the console because consoles are really more geared and made for multiplayer and plus you don't have to worry about as much as for lag or anything like that so a lot of people are really upset about that now it does make sense money wise just because the 3DS has been a great success and it's selling very very well but a lot of people are still just wanting that to be on the Wii U and that really does suck and there have been a lot of great games that have been very successful on the 3DS including the new Animal Crossing game that a lot of people are very upset that they didn't see that they ported it to the Wii U. I mean, I'm sure that people would love to see better graphics and stuff like that, but, you know, people just want more games, especially games that are like that, and they just want to be able to actually enjoy on their Wii U, especially since going from 3DS to the Wii U makes perfect sense since you'll have that controller with the screen and everything on it, it'll make perfect sense, but it looks like Nintendo is paying closer attention to the numbers than to actual consumers, and that really sucks because they're one of those companies that usually does pay more close attention to their consumers and what they're saying and what they want, but every now and then we see stuff like this where they're paying more close attention to the numbers because the 3DS has been a really great success and it looks like there's not very many games getting ported to the Wii U or having multiplayer being put on the Wii U version. Now speaking of networking, it looks like some people with Xbox Live Gold are upset right now because ever since they added some of the things that PlayStation Plus has had for quite a while, like being able to get games for free every single month, people are upset because they haven't gotten Assassin's Creed 2 or Halo 3 yet. Now Microsoft Microsoft has came out and said that the reason is because those were simply mentioned as some of the games you will be getting, but they didn't put an actual release date for them. So I can see where people are coming from, why they're very upset, but at the same time again, they didn't really put in a release date. But it looks like for PlayStation Plus members, this month they're getting Battlefield 3, which makes a lot of sense in a couple of ways, like number one, Battlefield 3 for P PC not very long ago was selling for only 5 bucks and the price dropped from 40 bucks brand new to 20 bucks brand new and you could get it for 40 bucks with all the DLC on it. And plus, people are saying that Battlefield 4 is going to be the deciding factor of which console people go with because the question rises of which system do you want to play that game on? And no better way to get people interested in the Battlefield series than to throw in Battlefield 3 with their PlayStation Plus membership. So that way, when they get a next-gen console, they'll want to get Battlefield 4. And since they're more familiar with the PlayStation controls and everything, they'll more likely get the PlayStation 4 copy of it. Now, speaking of the PlayStation 4, it looks like there are rumors going around of the release date, which is not official. PlayStation hasn't said anything yet. But there are rumors going around that it might be coming out on October 29th. And you gotta remember, they did say holidays later this year, which that is on a holiday around Halloween, and it is gonna be later this year, so it is a possibility, but Sony hasn't said anything, and a lot of people are speculating, and the main thing that a lot of people are thinking is Sony using this as a way to 
try to get Microsoft to cough up their year or their date that they're going to be releasing the system so then Sony could try to do better than them on the release date and get their system out even sooner. Well that's pretty much it for today guys, thanks again guys for watching and if you enjoyed the video make sure to hit that like button and for those of you that recently subscribed thanks again guys for being so awesome and also if you haven't subscribed make sure you do subscribe because I'll be doing much more videos very very soon and if there's anything that you'd love to say about these stories or anything you would love to post or any question make sure to post them in the comments below. So anyways thanks again guys for watching and I'll see See you guys in the next video.